We are going live. We are live. Actually on time for once. Usually I'm like a few minutes off. Got the table all wet. Dang it. Because of Mountain Dew. Where's that kryptonite? Going on YouTube. Haven't been live on here in, hmm, man, at least a month. Probably closer to two months. Um, yeah, we're going to do a live box break here. Um, from this Walmart $5 jumbo box, one and four contain a hit, bonus figure included. And includes a pack, which uh, looks like it's newer cards, I would say. Mm, couldn't tell you because I've been out of card collecting for at least probably a good what's it 2019 probably since about 2012 ish so way out of it but i thought i'd buy this and the lofty goal is if we reach 10,000 views on this video between now and whenever um i will send this to somebody we'll do a random thing random draw or whatever and if you live within the united states i'll ship it for free if you live outside the united states um, I'll kick down five bucks for shipping. You want to cover the rest? These will be yours. Could be something valuable in here. I don't know. If any of you uh, watch uh, the Jabs family on uh, YouTube, he's. I know there's one video. He's, he collects only baseball. They have these in baseball too. He went out and uh, he bought like every single one in town. Got some pretty decent cards in there. But... Uh, as much as I am out of the football car collecting, I am equally as much in baseball, not to mention have not really been following MLB in the last four or five years. So, yeah, that wouldn't do very well for me. Whereas football, this is about even NASCAR is kind of hit and miss lately. Last few years, but this is the one sport I watch religiously right here. Rams this weekend. Let's take care of business. Even though it's as pathetic as it is, I'm, I have a feeling there's going to be more Cowboy fans there than Rams or or maybe 50-50 at best. So we'll see. All right, we'll give this a couple more minutes. Um, one thing, I'm going to... This is a very early announcement. Um, I mentioned it before when Julius Harris sent his in. We have three races left in the YouTube Cup 2018 season. I need to get this finished by like this month so we can start building on 2019. Here's a card Julius Harris sent in with the wheel swap. We will be allowing wheel swaps this season. These cars right here. Actually, any other cars I get in between now and uh, um, the end of this season, I will not be racing any new ones except for what has already been sent in. Prepared, yeah, he's not prepared. Horrible, epic fail. I was gonna put my PO box up on the screen. Hot Wheels Racing is where it's at. Yes, sir, Aaron, sir, you are correct. Hot Wheels Calgary in the house as he is reaching. Ah, here it is. As he is reaching 500 subscribers, make sure you check out his channel. There it is, Rhino PO box five seven seven nine seven six. Modesto, California, 95357. So any new cars, except for the the ones that were recently sent to me, they will wait until 2019 to rate. So if you want to get it started on that. What's going on, Travis? So here's a wheel swap, Julius Harris. That will be, uh, we'll get more into that. I'll have a video for that. And then also... 3D bot maker. Woo, you seen this race on King of the Mountain? That's right. 3D bot maker coming to the YouTube Cup. And this is a slick looking car. Both of these are pretty darn slick. They are not using the same wheels. But we know this one's fast. This one's fast. You're going to get a little sneak preview of these. At the finals of the buy-in from Charlotte Motor Speedway that we're doing on the Sub 4 RA channel. We'll run these on there. 
couple test laps. So Julius Harris, 3D bot maker with wheel swaps. Wheel swaps will be allowed. Just make sure they can fit on the orange track. In addition to which, I do believe I'll be allowing uh, circle trackers. And um, I know I didn't before. Circle trackers and... Oh, boy. All right, man. You have a good one, too, brother. We'll catch you on the 500. You'll be there before you know it. Uh, the circle trackers, the um, the Dodge uh, Mopar NASCAR style ones they have. I will be allowing. Thank you, Travis. Appreciate it, man. We will be allowing uh, any style body that's been used in NASCAR. Uh, for example, here's some from... That's not what that is. I was not allowing them before, but... If it was a body style that's been used in NASCAR, like this one right here. This is what? Is this Chevy Lumina? It's not a Skyline, I can tell you that. Does it say on the bottom? I want to say Lumina, but does that be about period correct for NASCAR? With the Ultra Hots. That is definitely a classic with those ultra hots. So if it's any style NASCAR body, um, 2000, we already have 70 something cars. So it's, uh, we're going to have to figure out something in terms of qualifying. And maybe we'll even do a poll that way. Everybody gets kind of a say in it. So, uh, for 2019 could be stock, could be custom. You want to be a part of the YouTube Cup? That's where you send your cars to. Rhino, P.O. Box 577976, Modesto, California, 95357. And you will be in for the 2019 YouTube Cup season. There will be more tracks, more races, and uploaded more frequently. Drink check. Got Mountain Dew. Or is that Kryptonite? Don't know. All right, guys. What a heck of a first weekend. Of playoff action we had. Colts, man, they're just I've well, they start one and five and they went nine and one down the stretch, won a playoff game, so they're they've won ten out of their last eleven and it's uh un highly unlikely. I I can't believe the run they're having right now. Didn't surprise me though they would beat Houston. I just never bought into Houston. Um San Diego had a bit of a scare there at the end with Baltimore or San Diego, the Chargers, LA Chargers. And that'd be something if the Chargers, which they could very well do, they can knock off New England. I could see the Colts knocking off Kansas City a five versus six AFC championship. I don't think that's ever happened before. Yeah, I mean... I'm a Rams fan. I was kind of hoping to get the Bears again. That way, we get a shot at them at our house. But uh, not to be the case. Thought the Bears, man. You tell me Trubisky's going to throw. What do he throw? Do he throw over 300 yards? And with them holding Philadelphia to 16 points, I thought for sure. You tell me that. I'm, I figure Chicago's going to win easily. Maybe not so much easily, but didn't figure they would lose. And then uh, Dallas, ugh, Dallas beating Seattle. Seattle's tough. Everybody writing them off this season. I knew they were still tough. Anytime they still have Russell Wilson, they got Russell Wilson in there. It's They got a shot. And that's coming from a Rams fan who just recently visited Seattle. Whole family was sick. That was fun. <laughs> All urgent care. Got to go in the Space Needle and all that stuff. It was cool. Didn't realize, never visiting Seattle, never realized that the link and 
Safeco Field are right next to each other. Now it's starting to make sense to me now. Oh, well, why Seattle when uh, Kingdom got torn down? Why they went to play at University of Washington and then the Mariners were not displaced at all because where the Kingdom used to lie is where the link lies now. So the Safeco was built next door, so they were fine. If memory serves me correctly. All right, guys, here we go. 75 football cards plus one pack and some bonus figure, which I really have no clue what this could be or where it's even located. I assume back here somewhere, but I have no idea what they mean by a bonus figure. So there's one in four of these packs include a game use card, event use card, manufactured autograph or relic card. Uh, this is from the Fairfield Company. I remember buying stuff from them in the early 2000s at, I believe, Target. They're, they definitely have stepped up their game. If you've seen uh, the, the Jabs family, he collects baseball only. It looks like we got an 89 tops back there. That's what that stripe is, I'm pretty sure. And he went and bought out his entire city full of the baseball style boxes like this, which I opened one back up, I think, during the summer. As the uh, hot water heater kicks on, a little bit louder than I thought. Sitting right behind it. Back kind of twitched a little bit. All right, let's get into this. Anybody, if you ever bought these, these are like, these are adult proof. I think it's easier. Might be easier actually just to go. Yep. At the bottom. All right, here we go. Much easier to open from the bottom. Let's see what we got, guys. I don't, oh, okay. So the bonus figure. Son of a gun. Got to open it from the top anyways because I don't know. Oops. I'm ripping it, but... Ripping's racing, Harry. Yeah, totally. Maybe I can just push it down from here. Maybe not. And handle it, Rhino. Oh, one of these goofy things. All right. There she. Teeny Mate Series 3. Collect all 32. Better not be that team or that team. Really wouldn't want either of those two teams either. Packers not making the playoffs this year. Denver looking like poop down the stretch. When they had a legitimate shot of making the playoffs. And when they traded Demarius Thomas, though, that was pretty much a given they weren't going to make it. All right. So we'll start right off the bat. Peyton Manning. What uh, year is this? 2015. This was, uh, yeah, two years after he broke the record. Most touchdown passes in a career. Interesting, uh, his rushing record, 425 attempts for 673 yards and 18 touchdowns? Peyton Manning rushed for 18 touchdowns? Crazy. I had no clue. I don't know about this design. This is, what, 2015 tops. I don't know. All right, uh, here we go. 94 Ultra, I believe. Derek Brown. I don't remember this guy. Gamer Amaze Boy. It could be yours if this video gets to 10,000 views, which would put it probably in my top three, I think, of all time. So make sure you're sharing. Make sure you're watching it over and over and over again. And if it gets to 10,000 views, we will pick somebody randomly. Hey, here we go. We got uh, DJ Johnson. Don't remember this guy either. Derek Brown. Trying to check out his stats. Uh, this was his going into his second year. 
Went to Nebraska. DJ Johnson. Don't remember him either. Nope. Mm, went to Kentucky. All right, next up. I got some 90s hoopla in here. Oh, boy, here we go with the cowgirl or Cowboys. Step Fret Williams. Oh, yeah, this is SP, top prospects, premier prospects. I remember Step Fret by the name alone. If his name would have been Al Smith, I wouldn't have remembered him. Step Fret, yep, I remember that name. Ah, Derek Alexander. Uh, didn't he go on? Derek Alexander Z with Cleveland slash Baltimore. Cleveland went shopping for a big receiver. Yep. That's right. And then uh, later became very late, very sooner rather than later became the Baltimore Ravens. All right. Next up, Mario Bates, Fleur Ultra rookie. I remember this guy is simply from getting his top rookie guards knee injury blah 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 brother michael bates played for the seahawks or plays for the seahawks at the time i remember michael bates oh man no way lawrence phillips yes rams fan was not happy when we drafted him and this guy he definitely could have his career could have went Definitely the other way, unfortunately. And passed away not too far from where I live, actually. Could have been a heck of a player. Oh, my gosh. As if one card wasn't enough. Let's throw in another Lawrence Phillips. Out of Nebraska. Best athlete in the 96 draft, yeah. Fortunately, that didn't translate to... On the field, and more importantly for him, off the field. All right, next up, Lamar Smith. This looks like from the mid-2000s, I believe. Oh, 2000, exactly 2000. I remember Lamar when he went to Miami more than anything. All right, we got Willie Jackson, Skybox Premium. This is from 96. Don't remember Willie, although he had a decent year in 95. is a rookie year. Mike Jones. Oh, who could forget wild card? Mike Jones. Let's see. What is this? This is NC State. Yep. North Carolina State. Next up, Curvin Richards. Oh, man. Got to love Curvin. Let's see. He looks like he went to Pitt. Yeah, he had pretty decent seasons in 88 and 89. Kind of fell off in 90. Ah, Stan Humphreys. Flare Ultra Sensations. Is this an insert? No, I don't think so. Stan Humphreys. The only quarterback to lead San Diego to a Super Bowl. Hard to believe. One of those gritty quarterbacks. All right, looks like we got David Palmer. This is Top Stadium Club. This has to be late 90s, 96. Great in the open field. So far, a dud of a... Ooh, here's a Mari Toomer. Classic. It's not a Tuma. On to the Giants. Did he go? Here's Carl Pickens. Carl Pickens. I believe he went to Cal. Oh, no. Tennessee. Man, I'm stupid. I remember that. A couple back-to-back 1,000-yard -back receiving... Stints, 95, great year. 99 catches for 1,234 yards and 17 touchdowns. Who was throwing him the ball, 95? Jeff Blake? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. I think it might have been Jeff Blake. All right, next up, we got 
49ers. This is Israel. I don't know. I'm not even going to try to say it. Uh, looks like he went to USC. Hate the whole airbrushing of the of the logos on the helmets. Israel Ifanaya. I don't know. I screwed that up. From Nigeria. This is from 96. Drafted by the Niners, number 46 overall. I don't remember this guy at all. Holy crap, look at this. We got a hit. We got a hit. Son of a gun. Nice. Would you look at that? Will Redmond, college draft pick, 2016 from Mississippi State. All right, guys. So if this gets to 10,000 views, somebody's going to get this auto certified autograph. As well as everything else in this. Man, I'm shocked I got a hit out of this. Will Redman. Man, 2016. Thanks to Redman, there would be no really real Hail Mary play for the number eight LSU. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Will Redman. Kind of sounds familiar. Very cool. Go ahead and kind of leave that one out. Very cool. I was not expecting that. All right. Oh, Dante Fowler. It's like these cards are stuck. Dante Fowler from Sage Hit. Now with the Rams. Been a good pickup. I think he's helped out Donald because Sue hasn't done anything. Very disappointed with Sue. University of Florida went on to Jacksonville, and then we got him for, what did we get him for, third round pick? Something like that. Oh, look at this, Tevin Coleman. Next level. Very underrated player, in my opinion, from Atlanta. He had to carry the load this year with, um, what's his face? Why can't I think of him now? Um, uh, Dante Freeman, injured pretty much the entire season. And then we got Max Williams. He is the tight end for Baltimore, I do believe. I think he's still there. Big athletic body. University of Minnesota. Doesn't say he was drafted. I'm pretty sure he was drafted by the Ravens. Don't know if he's still there or not. I know they had. I don't remember. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Thousand Yard Club. Stump Mitchell. There used to be a point where a thousand yards for a running back was nothing. Now it doesn't happen very often. Man, he even missed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Ah, yes. The editor's note, um, because this is from 88 tops, the 87 season, there was a strike, which uh, they missed three games. So, due to that, it said uh, 750 yards is required for admittance into the 1,000 yard club. So, he got in there by almost four straight 100 yard rushing. Games to end the season. Just missed it against the Cowgirls. Against us that year. 14 rushes, 78 yards. Stump Mitchell. All right, next up we got Ernest Jackson. Another 1,000-yard club. I think this is 86 tops. 86 tops, yep. 1,028 yards. So against the Vikings, 25 carries for 106 yards. Let him there. Oh, look at that. We held him to only 14 yards. He started the season one rush, negative three yards. So he started off extremely slow. All right, moving right along. We got John Stevens. This is his second year card. Yeah, I remember he was a 1,000 yard rusher his first year. And then near 1,000 his second year, even though his averages weren't all that great. Started off well. 
Super Bowl nine Steelers sixteen Vikings six. Is this the one that was from Tulane? Yep, this one was played at Tulane University. I don't remember the reason behind that. I, I, yeah, see, it played at Tulane Stadium. Uh, yeah, I don't remember why it was played there. Uh, one of these goofy announcer cards, Will McDonough. I remember him. I'd rather that have been a uh, John Madden or Pat Summerall or somebody else, but whatever. We got a hit. That's all that matters. All right, Vincent Price. I mean Vincent Brown. Yeah. Called The Undertaker, huh? This is from 92. This is right when The Undertaker first started, so, hmm. Will the real Undertaker please stand up? Here comes another round. I recognize the name. Yep, Steve Israel. Uh, was he corner? I think he was a safety. No, he was a corner. That was a rookie card. Is this from the top traded set? 716? Yeah, I think so. Because I think football cards only went to 660 that year. Pretty sure. Rams rookie, Stephen Douglas. Man, he ran the 40 and 4.26. Wow, go. Ah, yes. He only catches touchdown passes. Chris Carter. This is 1991, I believe. Yep. At that point, hadn't had... And he started with the Eagles, for those of you who don't know. You can see it on the card there. Started his, season, his career off rather slow. Ah, yes, here's another Hall of Famer. The Digabus system. John Hallway. He used to love these upper deck cards. Are these the team checklist. Yeah. Team checklist. Vernon Wells? Not the Vernon Wells that played for the Blue Jays. Kind of their version of Diamond Kings, I believe. Oh, man. Eddie, eat, drink, and be Murray. This guy played about 406 years. Matter of fact, I think he played a long time. Very good kicker. Although he missed a kick... I want to say in the playoffs that I don't remember if it was going to beat the Niners or put the Lions ahead or whatever. I think that was the same year that the Niners went to their first Super Bowl, beat the Bengals in 81 or 82. Started in 1980. Yeah, he played a long time. And then, of course, um, who was the guy that they had? Then they had Eddie Murray, played a long time, kicker for the Lions, and then I can't even think of him now. Dang it, now that I'm on the spot. Another guy. Who was the other guy that played forever for the Lions kicker? Gosh. Retired a few years ago. Oh, my good. Look at this. <laughs> I can't complain too much. I did get a hit. Back-to-back -back Eddie Murray cards. To look. I can't think of his name. That bugs me. Kevin Donnelly, Houston Oilers. This is 91 Pro Set, I believe. Had like 900 something cars in the set. All right, next up we got Coradell Patterson. Here's a newer card. This uh, tops, yeah, this tops. Kind of hard to see the name, so. 2014 tops. And I thought this guy was going to be big deal. Is he still with New England? Yeah, he's he was a running back, I think, for a game or two for them. Dang it, who was the run other kicker? Name's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't. Eddie Royal. Does this guy still play? Eddie Royal. 2008. Went to Virginia Tech. Vontech. 
There's a guy who still plays. Elias Campbell, rookie. I don't know. I think he's still with Jacksonville. Went to um, the U. Next up, here's another one of these 2014 Andre Johnson. Oh, man, if he only played with Deshaun Watson. All those great stats, all those years, and he, he led that team for a long time. He was that team. That was really without any help or anybody really throwing him the ball. And went on to play with the Colts for a year or two. Really didn't do a whole lot there. Oh, boy, that's the pack I got. Man, boy, did I guess that wrong. No Sean Moreno. No Sean. Remember him. Kid cries crazy. Remember on the sidelines of the National Anthem and the tears coming down. How do you cry like that? That's crazy. Oh, boy. Pro Set Platinum, 1991. I thought this would, just looking on the side here at the foil, I thought this was going to be a newer pack. This is interesting. For a free Pro Set Platinum Series 2 checklist. <laughs> Whatever. Pro Set Platinum. Boy, is that shout 90s right there when you see it. We'll open that here in a minute. Now batting, oh, knocking the thing over. Itavius Mathers, 2007 rookie from the Sage Hit. Middle Tennessee. Huh. Yeah, hometown Murfreesboro. Interesting. All right, next up, Steve Atwater. Hell of a player right here back in the day for the Orange Crush. Very good player. Favorite number, too, 27. And I grew up in a town. Uh, our rivals, it was Atwater. That's funny. Jerry having a ball here. Look at that. Lineman with, he's got, fingers aren't even taped. No gloves, nothing. Jerry Ball, very big boy here. 296, looks bigger than that. 14 career sacks up to that point in his career. That's kind of an oxymoron. I didn't need to say that. All right. Tim Rosenbach. I remember him. So one thing I didn't like about Stadium Club, no. Oh, I'm saying the Gregory were the only uh, take every snap from center in 1990. Wow, it's pretty impressive for a Cardinals quarterback during that time to play every single snap. We got Frank Stams. I vaguely remember him with the Rams. Whose house? Rams house. Notre Dame. All right, next up oh, is action pack. Action packed. Donnell Thompson, defensive end for the Colts. Not remember him. I used to always like this. What are you supposed to put there? Their player's autograph? Why would you have him sign right there? I guess you couldn't sign the front. Eh, no, you could still sign the front right in here. Action packed. This isn't a 24 karat gold one, is it? Not likely. I remember those cards we used to go for a heck of money. Yep. Ah, Rulon Jones. Here's another member of the Orange Crush. 
Broncos leave with seven quarterback sacks. Let's see. At this point in his career, this is 88 tops, the year of the Bo Jackson rookie. Uh, let's see. 68 and a half career sacks. With the Utah State, the Utes. All right, moving right along, we got the inevitable John Taylor. That's what I thought it was. Bowling is his favorite sport. Man, he killed us on one Monday night game. Uh, back in 89, had two 90-plus yard reception and then touchdown. I'll never forget that. We were up 17 nothing. Hated it. I don't even want to talk about it. All right, Gary Cobb. Oh, cowgirls. Whose house, Gary? Ram's house. Yeah, I don't remember him. USC. Oh, I remember this guy only by another one by name only. Tunch Ilkin. Tunch. The inevitable Tunch. Ribbit. Ah, another cowgirl here. I forgot. He used to be the, the placeholder, too, for the Cowboys. Jay Novacek. Tight end. Very good player. I forgot he started with the Cardinals. Didn't really do a whole heck of a lot. Until he got... Yeah, he went to uh, Wyoming. Product of Martin, South Dakota. Been to South Dakota before. Seen Mount Rushmore. John Hand. John Hand, decent player in his day, from what I remember. Went to Bama. Ah, here's the old 83 tops. Johnny Cooks. Any relation to Brandon Cooks? Pretty good condition for 83 tops. A little off-center, but corners are sharp. During his campaign. Number one draft pick in 82 for him. Oops. All right. Bill Brooks. A pretty decent player for the Colts in the mid to late 80s into the 90s. Here is the place kicker for the Packers during the early 90s, Chris Jackie. Beautiful mullet. I mean, just that's sensational right there. Look at that. All business. Look at this. Don't even look at it right here. Look at that. Yeah, this, this guy means business. He's all about business. Oh, but he likes to party too. <laughs> Strong legged kicker. Stan Brock. Look at that. Stan Brock. The Saints. Going to be hard to take down the Saints. I'm going to be honest. 11th year. With a home field advantage, everything going through the Superdome. I think the glass slipper finally falls off of Nick Foles and the Eagles this coming Sunday. Now here's our Backup running back, Robert Del Pino, back in the late 80s, early 90s. Talented to do everything back. Yeah, he was okay. Oh, Steve Pelour. I believe he was with the Cowboys. Let's see. Yep. And in fact, he did some starting in... 86, it looks like, and 88. Horrible numbers, though. My goodness. Eight touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Almost threw for 3,000 yards, then threw for over 3,000 yards in 88, but still had a negative touchdown to interception ratio. Hmm. Where'd he go to college? Washington. I was just there 
that's one thing I did not know that the Washington Huskies, University of Washington's actually in Seattle. Didn't know that. I thought it was farther up north for whatever reason. Steve Palluer. All right. Here is USC Mike Fawful. So this guy must have been, let's see, he told touchdowns alone. He must have been four seven seven forty. Must have been a guy. What did Rosen only play like one year? Maybe two. Maybe this guy didn't start all of 2016. Don't remember. Oh, nice. Here's a good one. Juju Smith Schuster with it looks like Antonio Brown on his way out of Pittsburgh. What the an ad? Really? You guys get an ad on here? <laughs> Why is that on there? All right, hopefully, we're back to an action. Juju Smith Schuster. May become the number one guy in Pittsburgh. Didn't realize hey, he's from Long Beach. LB. Like Long Beach. Not really a, much of a Southern California f fan of Southern California, but I like LB. Long Beach, Huntington Beach. And here's how much I watch... Uh, Safety coming out of the country in high school. Oh, he went to usually the other way around. Huh. Didn't realize he went to USC. I don't pay attention to college football. Pros only. Sorry. Thomas Jones and the hideous Jets throwback uniform. The digger bus system. Thomas Jones started with Arizona, I believe. Yep. Had some good years there. Chicago and then on to the Jets. 1,000 plus yards rushing. Next up, we got Mike Saxon. Another cowgirl. Too many of these. This is Topps Traded. I believe he took over the punting duties. Um, from Danny White, Laguna Niguel, California. Never heard of it. Whittier, yes, heard of that. Laguna Niguel, <laughs> gotta be in SoCal also. Don McPherson, dude, I don't remember this guy. That was old Kelly Green uniforms of the Eagles. Used to like those. Don McPherson, dude, I don't remember this guy. Tops traded. Went to Syracuse. I won the Maxwell Award. Huh. From, from Brooklyn. No sleep till Brooklyn. Don't remember this guy. Don McPherson. Hmm. All right. We got the inevitable 91 score. Jeff Harrod. Inside linebacker. And then we got Paul Farron. The inevitable Cleveland Browns. Much improved Cleveland Browns in 2018. Eric Allen. Good player in his day. All right, we got... I don't even think this guy plays anymore. Fred Jackson. Started off well with Buffalo. Uh, let's see. Free agent in 2006? Hmm. Fred Jackson. 
Uh, Jordan Cameron. Whatever happened to this guy? Jordan Cameron. What year was it? Who was that tight in the Browns had? Oh, man. Okay, I remember the kicker now. <laughs> I remember the kicker for the Lions, Jason Hansen. So we had Eddie Murray in there. Who was the... Uh, Gary Barnage. Gary Barnage. What year did Barnage score all those touchdowns? I think it was 2000... I think it was before Jordan Cameron got there. Whatever happened to this guy? Huh. Let's see what we got here. There's a thick card. Oh, Mayo cut plug. Super Bowl. Oh, 33. Wait, all right. This is still not fond memories for Falcons fans. Went 14-2 and two that year. It's crazy. Gary Anderson hadn't missed a kick all year, and he missed a chip shot that would have sent Minnesota to the Super Bowl, but instead Atlanta and uh, Morton Anderson, no relation to Gary, end up winning it in overtime, the 98 NFC Championship game. Ah, Mike Tomzak. There was a quarterback, the Kibitzer, in the house. What's up, Ken? Mike Tomzak. There was a. It was Tomzak and Jim Harbaugh. Was the quarterback? Give him when McMahon returned. I'm pretty sure it was Tomzak. Happy New Year, brother. Pretty sure it was Tom Zach and Jim Harbaugh battling for the starting position before. Oh man, Jim Jensen. I remember this guy. Big old neck brain. What do you steal that from Larry Zonka? Jim Jensen. We are opening up right now from Walgreens the 75 football cards plus one pack. Bonus figure included. Something in here. One and four contain a hit. And sure enough, we got a hit. Will Redmond, auto. And if I can meet the lofty goal of 10,000 views at some point during this video's existence, and assuming I still have these, I will send them out absolutely free to anybody in the United States. International, I'll chip in five bucks for shipping. Barney Busey, Gary Busey's long lost son. No, not really. Okay. Oh man. All right. Don't tell me anything. I gotta go watch that. I didn't realize that was up. I gotta go check that out. I'm waiting for the Kibitzer, aka Ken Castillo, Dennis Bird. Got paralyzed. I remember that one. For the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Hey, we got another Elway. Second Elway. Roy Green. Good receiver. Back in the day for St. Louis Cardinals and then on to the Arizona Cardinals. He had one, two, three, 1,000-yard seasons. 62 touchdowns. But since he played for the Cardinals, a lot of people have never heard, even heard of him on bet. I'm glad that's posted. I'm going to go home after this is done and go watch that. Jordan Dyson. This is from like 2012-ish. Oh, no, 2008. Way off. Don't remember this guy. Went to Colorado. Jerome Simpson. Don't really remember him. Coastal Carolina. Okay, we got a couple more cards left. Danny Amendola. The 
King of Concussions. What happened to Tops only putting a couple years of the stats on there? He played with Miami this year. Thought he'd have a better season than what he did. And then we got uh, Levante David. All pro linebacker. Don't remember this guy. He still play. A lot of these defensive guys kind of slip to the cracks if they're not playing on the team you follow. So that'll do it. We got some Hall of Famers. We got a lot of rookie cards. We got a few older cards. And we got a hit. Will Redman. Very cool. All right. Pro Set Platinum. Let's see what's in here. Foil pack. Not wax pack. Foil pack. So this is Pro Set Platinum 1991 Series 2 12 cards. the form and I'm about to open all right we're gonna start things off with Ronnie Lott Ronnie Lott oh yeah you can't play because your fingers broke I just cut the tip off Much as I hate the Niners, still do, but being a Rams fan, but growing up, probably the 49er I most respected. Heck of a player. Uh, is this Rod Smith? No, Mark Jackson. What a jabron. Mark Jackson. Um, Benny Blades. Yep, Benny Blades. Safety for the Lions. Pretty decent in his day. 86. Looks like he's getting ready to fumble the ball. Ernie Jones. Uh, this is Chris Spielman. Now a color commentator. Used to love this guy. He's a player. Actually made an appearance on Home Improvement as well. Ah, yes. Here's another Hall of Famer. Steve Young. In my opinion, really, even with his Super Bowl title in San Francisco, always still felt like he was living in Montana shadow. All right, now we got... Hi, <laughs> Tunch Ilkin, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee! That's right. Thriller's in the house. You don't believe me? Michael Jackson. Who could forget number one Michael Jackson for the Cleveland Browns? Sixth round pick in 91. University, Southern Mississippi. He got named player of the week three times during his senior year. Uh, let's see. He also ran track on the 4x100 meter relay team. Please tell me he did more than just the 4x1. He could at least run the 4x1 and the 100. Uh, this is Eugene Robinson. Eugene, Eugene. And we got ooh, lineman Keith Sims. Oh, crap. Nice. Here's another Hall of Famer. Barry Sanders. Oh, sh <laughs> Mel Gray. Oh, crap. That's what I get for trying to trying to look at this through the cell phone. I saw a two. I saw a zero. He's running with the ball. Figured it was Barry Sanders. No, it's Mel Gray, one of the uh, guys that specializes in the wide receiver kicking kick receiver duties. And then another Ram, Todd Light, cornerback. Mm, pretty decent for a little while there. All right. That'll do it for that pack. Did get a hit. 
Will Redman. Now let's see who it could be. Place your guesses on what team this could be. Rare figure and odds. You kidding me? They really Broncos throwback. What is this from? Westlake, Ohio. Crocker Road. Party Animal Toys. What year is this from? Contains two figures and two puzzle pieces. Ages four and above. All right. Well, I'm gonna need some scissors. I don't want crap all over the place. Anybody still watching? I know it's late at night. Me on the West Coast, not as bad. All right, Ken, take care, brother. Is this some checklist thing? Hmm. Let's see if we get the Rams. Might have to keep that one. All right. Well, supposedly there's two figures in here. And there's a puzzle piece with a Raider. Looks disgruntled like there's no place for them to play next season. <laughs> Whoa. And yeah, Chargers. They basically uh, every game for them is a road game playing in Carson. All right, let's see. Who do you think it is? It's the Colts. It is the Colts. These things are pretty interesting. Okay, if the next one's the Chiefs, I'm going to laugh. Or the Texans. Let's see here. Oh, crap. It's the Eagles. Could this be... Could this be... Why is this in a baggie? Could this be a Super Bowl preview? Two number six seeds in the Super Bowl, perhaps? If that happens... Look back at the Sub 4 RA channel as an insight to the future, apparently. Why is this in a baggie, though? Uh, camouflage Teeny Mate? Nope. Yeah, Glow in the Dark Series 3? No. Patriot Throwback? No. NFL Line Judge? Broncos Throwback? Metallic Goals? I have no idea why this one is in. Ken Castillo just left. He is an Eagles fan, too. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, guys. Whose house? Ram's house. Again, just a throwback. Uh, throwback. Just a uh, reminder. This was 75 football cards plus one pack. And bonus figure included. We got two figures. One and four contain a hit. We did get a hit. Contenders. Panini. 2016. Will Redman. Very cool. I was not expecting a hit. We did get some Hall of Famers. <sighs> get late. And two figures. Eagles, Colts. I got the Chargers in there. But this ends up, they end up going to the Super Bowl. I'm going to look back on this video and laugh. I don't see it happening, but... Is made of doo doo, says John Mueller. <laughs> nice. So don't forget if you're tuning in, you, uh, it's cold in this garage. If you have uh, watched this, not as it was aired live, but later on on YouTube, if we can get this video, yeah, a little lofty goal, and I don't expect it to happen between. 
you know, now in the next playoff round this coming Saturday, Sunday, Saturday slash Sunday, but anywhere between now and as long as I still have these cards, if this video can get to 10,000 views, mm -hmm, sub for a channel, not likely, but you never know. I will send these cards all right here, including the hit and these two mini figures and the puzzle pieces, if you really want them, if, as long as I still have them, to anybody in the United States for free. We'll do some sort of random draw. And uh, if you live outside the United States, I'll cover the first five Skrill for shipping. You'll just have to provide the rest because they can get rather expensive shipping outside of the United States. What's going on, Shane? Drink check. We're almost done. Mountain Dew. Uh, for those of you who do follow the channel, don't forget 2019 YouTube Cup season. Yeah, we're not done with 18. We still got like three races to go. I got to get it in, but the 2019 season is allowing wheel swaps, Boo! just like this one here from Julius Harris. Shane wanted to know what he missed. Well, we opened up from Walgreens. We opened up one of these $5 jumbo box things. Get 75 cards, one pack, bonus figure, actually included two. One and four contain a hit. And we got a hit. Auto 2016 contenders from Mississippi State. Will Redman. And we got these two figures. Colts, Eagles. If these two number six seeds go to the Super Bowl, which we all want the Rams to go, right? This channel will forever be known as um, clairvoyant. I don't know. Stupid word. I hate using that word, but that's about about right. So, the vid if this video gets to 10,000 views, I will ship this to free to a random winner anywhere in the United States for free. Outside the United States, five bucks I'll put towards shipping. And you'll pay the rest and you get everything. And here's another wheel swap. This one, 3D Bot Maker. We've seen this race. It was the very first King of the Mountain. Love this car. This car is awesome. Wheel swaps allowed in the 2019 season. Any car sent in to my P.O. Box, which is this Rhino P.O. Box 577. 976 Modesto, California, 95357. Uh, if you send any cars in between now and when the season starts, 2019 season, they'll be uh, raced in 2019. I do have a few cars that have been sent, got last month that will race this season, but anything I get going forward will be Save for 2019, and we're gonna have to figure out some sort of something to speed things up because I have about 70 cars from the YouTube community to race in the YouTube Cup. So we shall see. Very happy with the the box though. Uh, let's go through it again real quick. Will Redman, we got Ronnie Lott, Steve Atwater, Chris Spielman. Steve Young, mm -hmm. he -he. Michael Jackson, yes, his name is Michael Jackson, look, Barry Sanders, oh wait, no, it's not Barry Sanders, we got Peyton Manning, two Lawrence Phillips cards, very crazy, Stan Humphreys, Mari Toomer, Carl Pickens, got Dante Fowler, Tevin Coleman, Max Williams, got a couple of 1,000 yard club cards. Chris Carter, John Elway, back to back, same Eddie Murray cards. Jason Hansen was a kicker I was thinking of. Finally popped in my head. There's Cordell Patterson. 
Clayus Campbell, rookie. Andre Johnson. Sean Marino. John Taylor. Jay Novacek. There's an 83 tops. That was the oldest card, I do believe. Pretty sure. Uh, Mike Fossil. Don't remember him. There's Juju Smith Schuster. Thomas Jones. These cards are upside down. Jordan Cameron, what happened to him? Here's a Mayo Cut plug. Pretty cool. I don't know if this is a short print or whatever. Another John Elway. Boy, Green, I didn't realize how out of focus that card is. And Mandola. That'll about cover it right there. So the winner will get all of this, or if we get to 10,000 views. Lofty goal, I know, for this channel, but hey, you got to dream big, man. That's going to do it, guys. Don't forget this Saturday, Who's House, Rams House, taking on the Cowgirls in the playoffs. All right, look for more of, uh, you know, the buy-in. need to be finishing that up here. In the next week, week and a half, continue with the YouTube Cup and the NOS Racing Series and uh, keep going forward. Also have plans. Um, I'll be announcing that probably tomorrow or the next day, a video up on that. On uh, We had done a Bounty Hunter Challenge. We're going to do something like that. Just going to call it King of the Quarter, King of the Quarter Mile. We're going to do one of those once every month. So look for a video talking about that too. Next couple days should be up. That's going to do it from here. I think I'm going to go watch something on Netflix. Oh no, I got to watch Ghost Jerker. It's the cowgirl time of the month. Yeah, now. Right here. Got to get it done. Got to get it done. I'm going to go watch Ghost Jerker's King of the Hill. I'm going to go check that out right now. All right, guys. As always, Gurley, you know it, brother. University of Georgia. Bulldogs. That's going to do it for me. Getting cold in the old garage. Feels kind of good, though. Hope to have this thing clean up be before the... Year 2030. Maybe get some racing done in here. Be a lot easier. All right, John. Peace out, man. Good luck going forward in uh, YouTube Cup and the buy-in. You're still in the buy-in. All right, guys. That's going to do it for me. Let's try to get this video up to 10,000 views. That way somebody will get all this stuff for free. I certainly don't need it. Don't even know why I bought the thing in the first place. But I got a hit out of it, so... Can't complain. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you at the next one.